cyclist was hit by the mirror of a passing truck and was killed and one of his best friends uh, was prosed about making some sort of statement about that and uh, that's where that began in Dallas, Texas. Since then, thousands of riders in clubs and, and communities all over the world take part today to commemorate those that were injured or killed while bicycling. We here ourselves uh, live in South Carolina. We're seventh place on the list of fatalities per million of population. Although that is still seventh. It is a 10% reduction in the number, mainly because I guess all the states have been driving less because of the gas problem. But if you know about the PCC, which is our state cycling coalition, Palmetto Cycling Coalition, their goal is to reduce the fatalities by 25%. And uh, if you're not a member, I recommend that you sign on, take a look at it. It's www.pccsc.net. Um, our ride today will be along Buck Walter Parkway's path. Uh, we're going to have crossing guards at the major intersections and streets, uh, a couple of which are very, very uh, hazardous, and that would be where we cross Bluffton Parkway, um, and even right outside where we're going to cross near the Publix at the uh, crossing guard is going to let you go through if there's no traffic. But if traffic does interfere with our crossing, you may have to stop and let the traffic go through, as we promised to the police department of uh, Bluffton. Uh, this, the group up ahead that's made that crossing, I would ask them to just go a little slower so the other people can regroup again. You will continue all the way down to 46, and instead of going out pavement of the road, either Buck Walter Parkway or 46, you come to sort of a stop. If you have to, get off your bike, turn it around, and then continue back on the pathway. Harvey will be at that intersection to keep you from wandering out into traffic. Uh, the group will be led by Karen and the ride marshals or the crossing guards, but those crossing guards will peel off at their assigned locations. And then, of course, they will be there on the return trip. Um, I think this group will find this a little easier, whereas if we had 60 or plus people, it would be a little more difficult. Um, once we begin the ride, we're going to be doing hand signals. We're not going to be having conversations. We're not going to be whistling signals or whatever. We want you to think about someone that you know who may have had an accident or was killed because of their love of the sport of cycling. Uh, we all know how great it is for fitness, but you know, we have to pay attention. It's dangerous out there. Motorists are not always aware of where they are in relation to you. So you do have to share the road. They have to share the road. That's all we're asking. And the PCC with the state has changed the bicycle law, the traffic law, so that motorists are expected to maintain a safe distance when they pass the bicycles. So we, we do have that in our favor now. Um, hand signals will be, of course, you know, slowing, stopping, uh, left turn, right turn, which there shouldn't be any of. Um, just keep a safe distance from you to the rider in front. And I'd just like to uh, make a few uh, comments about a few names that South Carolina recognizes as fatalities 
while biking. Jerry Berkeley, Thomas Hoskins, Lee Ann Barry, Rachel Gibbon, Terrell Rose, Arthur Stewart Jr., and Mrs. Kim, not too long ago. We hope that would be the end of our list of names and we could ride in safety. But let's do it with awareness of what's around us. If anyone has a name that they'd like to present now, by all means, speak up. All right, I just have a question. Are question. we going single file? Single file. I don't have a name, but I do have that man that was killed on Buffalo Parkway about six months ago. I don't have a name. It was did somebody get hit and was medevaced out just recently? Was somebody hit on the parkway and was yeah, medevaced? Yeah, I didn't get the name. Larry Crone. Yeah.